What's up guys? It's been a minute. Haven't posted in a while because I was busy with uh, real life stuff and uh, I'll tell you more about one of those things I've been working on later in this video so stay tuned to find out. Anyway, but the main purpose of this video is to give a recap of what happened during my 16 week powerlifting program from Calgary Barbell and to give my review of it, you know, the pros and the cons and then whether I would recommend it to you if you want to try it out. So here we go. But before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about how I've been training recently. So I've been doing more bodybuilding style training again, moving away from that powerlifting for a little bit. However, for the main lifts, I am still working up to that one top set of a heavy weight and then moving the weight back down and doing somewhere between 8 to 12 reps. And now, let's talk about the pros. The very first pro is that the volume is perfect. If you remember, we train four times a week and those four times is up to your choosing. I did Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday with active rest on Wednesday and Saturday and then a full rest on Sunday. Having all these rest days allows your body to fully recover for the next training day making sure that you are gaining as much strength as you can within the 16 weeks. The second pro for me is that for every day of training, there's at least one leg exercise and at least one chest exercise. So that works everything, basically your squat, your deadlift, and then your benching. The exercises also differ in the number of sets, the intensity, and also the variation of which it is done. For example, there's the paused variations, there are the pinned variations, and all of those are accessories to help the main movement. The third pro for me is that the program is set up so that you can correctly progressive overload. The first four weeks are set up with more reps and more sets but lighter weight to allow you to adapt to the number of training days that you will have and as the program progresses on it reduces the sets reduces the reps but increases the weight and the intensity of each rep and the fourth and final pro for me is that the program is really easy to follow it has everything laid out for you it has the exercise number of sets number of reps it even has the tempo and it also has your rest time laid out for you. All you need to do is follow it and track it on the Excel sheet and voila, you have your 16 week powerlifting program set. And now the cons. The first one isn't really a fault of the program, but more of the fact that I lift in a commercial gym. So some of the items or equipment that you need for the powerlifting program is not in the commercial gyms. For example, the two block bench press. We don't have blocks, so I had to improvise and use two 10 pound weights. Another example would be the safety squat bars. Maybe you might have it in your commercial gym, but I did not. So I just had to do either a high bar squat or front squats. And the second con, personally, I think this is it for me, is that there aren't enough accessory movements that target your back or your rear delts. Like training any muscle group, if you train one side, you have to train the other side. I mean, yes, in like the first four weeks, there were back exercises that were included in the program. However, close to the end of the program, there were no back exercises at all. And I think part of that was what caused my shoulder to hurt. However, when I started doing pull-ups before my bench press movements, my shoulder pain reduced significantly. So for me, a recommendation would be maybe on one of your rest days, your active rest days, go ahead and do like a full back day so that your back is not neglected while you, you are doing a ton of chest movements. 
Another way to incorporate more back movements is that every time you go and do a chest movement, you go ahead and do a back movement as well. But then for me, what I found out was that it just made my workouts way too long. And so for me, doing back days on my active rest days and also doing like three sets of pull-ups before doing my chest movements helped a lot. And that's it for my cons. Only two cons. And for the rest of the program, I think is great. If you are someone that's an intermediate level or an advanced level lifter that has a good sense of what their maxes are and how hard they can push themselves to gauge their RPE, I highly recommend Calgary Barbell 16 week powerlifting program. And now you might be asking me, dude, what's next for you then? Well, you see it is May and it's practically the summer and I have gained some pounds from powerlifting. So it is time to go for a cut. And that leads me to my next point. I'll be using something called my custom keto plan. From there, they create a custom keto plan for me. They also give me my grocery shopping list and tell me how much of everything I need to buy. So I don't need to stress out about my diet. As a disclaimer, I understand that keto isn't for everybody. Some people prefer to do a balanced diet. Some people prefer to do something totally different and that's fine. For me though, I've done keto before and it's worked for me. And so I'll be doing it again. Anyway, if you wanna try out my, key, my custom keto plan, I'll have a link down below and you can check it out for yourself. It's not too expensive. It's like $37 and it gives you a good plan for the next eight weeks. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Hopefully, because of this diet thing that I'm gonna be doing, you guys can follow along on that and I'll be posting more frequently. I might, I'll probably be posting more on Instagram as well. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll be able to see more of that. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I'll have leave the handle right here. So you can go ahead and check me out there as well. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.